hey guys so in this video we will going to teach you how uh, you can add cloud uh, flare to your wordpress website so first of all let me just tell you what is cloud flare that is content delivery network actually so how it works so let me just show you a uh, very simple explanation okay so for example we have this image so for example when you have a website so for example it is hosted in india for example i live in india so it's india and here my servers of my website are located that means my website is under this server now for example if a person from united states want to visit my website which is in india server so it will take more time for this us uh, us citizen to access my uh, website content it will take more time for that person to see the content right so this is the problem okay so you uh, know that when a person uh, visit your website and if your website not uh, get loaded so he will leave your website so that is the problem so what happen is uh, with the help of cdn cdn has lots of you know servers across almost every uh, country so what this uh, cdn company do they store your website uh, data in every of the server uh, across the country so uh, so uh, any country people who want to visit your website they can easily visit to your website and they can access your website uh, immediately so your website will going to load very fast to people across the countries right so for this purpose uh, cdns are very useful so for example i will going to apply cdn in my this website that is businesswithya.co.in website okay and it's very simple to do make sure you have uh, login uh, for this so in this way we will going to add cloudflare and connect it with our wordpress website okay and make sure you have your domain register so in my case it's godaddy so uh, godaddy is a company from where i have purchased a domain so make sure you uh, open that company from where you have uh, purchased your domain name now you do not require uh, anything else now let's start the process and let's connect our you know uh, cloudflare cdn that is content delivery network with our wordpress website so that we can boost the perform uh, performance and speed of our wordpress website let's see how uh, it works so guys it's very easy so first of all you have to go to cloudflare so just search cloudflare um, on your browser you will see this website cloudflare.com uh, website okay so just click on this website and you have to first of all sign up so just click on this sign up button let's wait for it to get sign up uh, it's very easy uh, oops not this one man let's create one account here uh, so i've created uh, email and password click on you know create account uh, if you already have you know account so what you can do you can just click on login so in this way you if you are a first time so just click on this uh, sign up and just put your e email and password but if you already have account so just click on login click on login for example so you can see uh, this is the you know uh, cloudflare account and this is how it will going to look so from here you can just click on this add site but, uh, button and here you have to put your website url 
so for example in my case my website url is this one so i will copy the domain just so select your domain right click click on copy go to your cloudflare account right click click on paste now make sure you remove this uh, hyphen this one and also remove this HTTPS hyphen and then uh, after you will do this just click on add site now let's wait for it to get added simple easy now from here you have to select the free plan click on get started of course you can choose pro as well it's totally up to you but i will go with the free version this will help us to set up our cdn as well okay now let's wait okay okay so from here you do not have to do anything just click on this continue button and from here uh, you have to go to your dns so to go to your dns you have to go to your uh, godaddy for example in my case i have taken my domain from godaddy so i will go to godaddy if you have taken from you know uh, different uh, domain registrar company like uh, name cheap okay so you can go to that process are same just go to my products and then you will see all your domain which you have purchased so let me just okay so just go scroll down and here you can see my this domain where i want to connect my cdn that is cloudflare so i will just click on dns of this particular domain and then i will go and click on change here so now your cloudflare is saying that you have to remove these two name servers you can see ns2 which is this one ns2 dns parking and this ns1 which is this one okay so you have to remove that simple so just click on change click on enter my own name servers now just remove them so we have removed that simple and now you have to put the cloudflare's name server so just copy it like this right click click on paste simple similarly copy this one second one right click here on the second box right click click on paste after you will uh, do this uh, let's okay everything is done click on save now yes i consent click on continue all done now uh, everything is you know done you have done everything now click on done check name servers and from here uh, you can skip the recommendation and then you will see something like this so click on check name servers okay so cloudflare is now checking the name servers for businessvidya.co.in please wait a few hours for an update so after you will do this actually you just need to refresh your website so let's see uh, whether we have got that thing okay so it may take some time okay so just click on check the verification is already checked okay so you can see um, this is how it will going to shade it is uh, already checked right so you don't have to do actually anything here still you can just refresh it and it is you know that simple okay so uh, after uh, you will do this what you need to do is that uh, you now need to go to your you know wordpress dashboard and from here you have to connect your website with cloudflare again so just go to plugins click on add new and from here uh, just search here you know cloudflare so just search here let's wait cloud flare just search for this wait for one plugin uh, to show up which is this one cloudflare by cloudflare incorporation click on install now then let's wait for it to get activated click on activate button let's wait for it to get updated man come on be fast so okay so all done now you will see this cloudflare so just click on uh, you know this setting button just click on this setting button 
now here you will see this thing so now click on sign in here put the email id uh, which you have used to create your cloudflare account and then it will going to ask you global api key so you will see that key uh, here okay so you can uh, see that global api key here as well even you can just click on this you know profile option okay so just wait just tap there let's wait okay so when you will actually going to you know uh, basically click on here so you will come to this page and from here just go to api tokens go to api tokens then from here you will see this global api key click on view it will going to ask your password password is this i am human uh, click on bus okay click on bus more bus this 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 next again bus this 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 well done click on view so now you can see your uh, global key so just click on copy and right click click on paste so you have pasted your global api key click on save api cred uh, credentials so now you you have successfully connected uh, cloudflare with your wordpress website and now cloudflare is activated on your domain and you can that means now you are actually using cloudflare cdn so now your website's performance will going to increase and this is how you have to do each and every settings if you want to connect your cloudflare cdn with your wordpress website so hope you have enjoyed this uh, video and you have learned how you can uh, you know basically create a CD, a cdn with cloudflare and how you can connect it with your wordpress website okay so it was super simple and super easy to do